Hi everybody. Today we discuss galactose metabolism. Galactose metabolism. So galactose, how do we get in the body? Through lactose. Lactose in the milk, milk products. It is present. Milk and milk products. This lactose is a disaccharide which breaks down into glucose and galactose. The lactose whenever it enters through milk and milk products or through the diet, it enters the body and the enzyme lactase acts on it. Lactase which breaks down the lactose to glucose and galactose. Galactose can also be produced through the degradation of through the degradation of glycoproteins and glycolipids. Through the degradation of glycoproteins and glycolipids. So there are two sources for production of galactose. One is to the breakdown of the lactose into glucose and galactose. Second is the lysosomal degradation of glycoproteins and glycolipids. The mo uh, so the two sources for is through the lactose. Second is to the degradation of lactose, like glycoproteins and glycolipids. Now the most important thing to remember is that the fructose and galactose, they ent the entry into the cell is independent of insulin independent of insulin so they are not dependent upon insulin independent of insulin like galactose and fructose both so the source for through the so source for galactose is through lactose and the degradation of glycolipids and glycoprotein and secondly the entry of the galactose and the fructose is independent of the insulin now coming to the metabolism of galactose per se so the galactose we have it will undergo phosphorylation to the presence of in the presence of enzyme galactokinase whenever there is kinase atp is taken it is broken down to adp and phosphorylation takes place so the galactose the product is galactose 1 phosphate Whenever there is kinase, ATP is taken and broken down to ADP and phosphorylation takes place. So galactose forms galactose 1-phosphate. Now this galactose 1-phosphate can, will react with UDP glucose and it will form in turn glucose 1-phosphate and here it will form UDP galactose. So this uh, enzyme over here is galactosyl 1-phosphate uridyl transferase. So it is galactosyl 1-phosphate uridyl transferase. It is uridyl transferase because UDP, ur uridine diphosphate, this molecule has been transferred to galactose forming UDP galactose and here it forms glucose 1-phosphate. Now we know that glucose 1-phosphate can form glucose 6-phosphate. Glucose 1-phosphate will can form glucose 6-phosphate to the enzyme phosphoglucomutase. Phosphoglucomutase. And this glucose 6-phosphate is a, a molecule which can enter into 5 different cycles. For over here it can enter into glycolysis or it can lead to the production of glucose so gluco, gla, glucose 6-phosphate is a molecule that can enter any pathway a 5 pathways of carbohydrate metabolism when glucose 1-phosphate is formed it forms glucose 6-phosphate through phosphoglucomutase and it can either go into glycolytic cycle or it can go into new glucogenesis cycle this UDP galactose can now form two molecules either it can form lactose through lactose synthase or it can lead to the formation of glycolipids, glycosoaminoglycans, glycoproteins so this is the simple pathway of galactose metabolism but the most important point now 
this is the pathway like simply it goes this way but there is also one more direction where it can go and it can form galactitol in the presence of enzyme aldose reductase here we require an NADPH so simply galactose which we get through lactose or through the lysosomal degradation of glycolipids or glycoproteins will be acted upon by galactokinase and phosphorylation will take place from galactose 1 phosphate this galactose 1 phosphate combines with udp glucose in the presence of enzyme galactose 1 phosphate uretyl transferase to form glucose 1 phosphate and udp galactose this glucose 1 phosphate forms glucose 6 phosphate to the mutase enzyme this can enter glycolysis this can enter glucose or either enter glu uh, glucose formation this udp galactose can form lactose through lactose synthase or it can form glyco so amino glycans glycolipids glyco proteins this udp galactose can again lead to the formation of udp glucose to the enzyme udp hexase 4 epimerase so epimerase enzyme now uh, this galactose has one more pathway it can form galactitol in the presence of aldose reductase and using nadph plus h plus so if there is a defect in If I say if there is a defect in galactose one phosphate uretyl transferase, so if there is a defect in galactose one phosphate uretyl transferase, this path of this cycle will not take take place, and there will be leading to accumulation of galactose one phosphate. Galactose one phosphate will be accumulated. In turn, the pathway will be redirected in this direction, leading to the accumulation of galactitol. So if there is deficiency of galactose one phosphate uretyl transferase. We le the disease is called as galactosemia. Galactosemia because there is accumulation of galactose because galactose one phosphate is accumulated in that in turn galactose is accumulated which leads to the production of galactitol. Now whenever there is more amount of galactitol present, it accumulates in the lens. It accumulates in the lens and it leads to cataract. It accumulates in the lens and it leads to cataract. So galactose emia, ah, uh, it will accumulation of galactose, more amount of galactose one phosphate leading to more production of galactitol, more accumulate it accumulates in the lens leading to cataract. This galactose one phosphate, this will in this disease, whatever I am writing in the uh, black now is for the disease galactose emia, which is autosomal recessive, and this galactose one phosphate accumulates in the liver. it accumulates in the liver this galactose one phosphate will accumulate in liver and because this phosphate along with galactose is accumulating this means the inorganic phosphate now gets depleted and it is accumulating in the liver in the form of galactose one phosphate so the uh, symptoms on the signs which we see in galactosemia is there is hepatomegaly cataract and hepatomegaly cataract there is impairment in kidney impairment in kidney and uh, this because this galactose one phosphate this galactose one phosphate inhibits glycogen phosphorylase this is important galactose one phosphate inhibits glycogen phosphorylase and therefore it will lead to hypoglycemia so to chalk out this galactose one phosphate galactose one phosphate inhibits glycogen phosphorylase inhibits glycogen phosphorylase and this leads to hypoglycemia this leads to hypoglycemia uh, the other features are mental retardation amino acid urea amino acid ureas the treatment being that the diet should be uh, deprived of galactose and lactose because we do not want the accumulation of more galactose so the treatment is that the diet should be depleted of galactose and lactose so galactose metabolism to summarize galactose will come from lactose 
or it will come from the degradation of glycolipids or glycoproteins. Galactose will acted will be acted upon by enzyme galactokinase to form galactose one phosphate, which will be acted upon by UDP glucose through the enzyme and the enzyme galactose one phosphate uridyl transferase to form glucose one phosphate, which forms glucose six phosphate and can enter the carbohydrate metabolism. Or the UDP characters which is formed can form lactose or glycosaminoglycans glycans or glycolipids or glycoprotein. The upward direction, the galactose can form galactotin. Now in galactosemia, when there is deficiency of galactose one phosphate uridyl transferase, galactose one phosphate increases, galactose accumulates, galactitol is formed. This leads to this is accumulated in the lens and leads to formation of cataract. The galactose one phosphate gets accumulated in the liver in the kidney because it is getting accumulated in the liver and the phosphate is also trapped along with galactose. So uh, the body gets depleted of some amount of inorganic phosphate. Mm, the, there is hepatomegaly impairment in the kidney. See, galactose one phosphate, this molecule is an inhibitor of glycogen phosphorylase, leading to hypoglycemia, in turn leading to mental retardation. The other symptom could be um, other sign could be amino acid urea. There is other defect which is due to the deficiency of galactokinase. So it is called as galactokinase deficiency, and it also leads to accumulation of galactose and it is a galactose and in the body. So, uh, so this is the only. Uh, this is the all for galactose metabolism. Thank you.